Well, welcome to the P site. It's our near surface monitoring site, and I feel a little bit like I'm going to get back at you guys for sitting there for two days hearing about monitoring in the deep zone, and um, where really most of the variability comes from the injection of CO2. But when we move up to the near surface, uh, the variability that we see is a function of the variability of the environment. And it's, it's a very important factor that we need to understand because um, soil gas in the near surface is extremely dynamic. And it's dynamic relative to things such as rainfall, barometric pressure change, um, plant activity. So we, we have to understand how gases, uh, uh, especially CO2, but other gases as well, how they behave, how they are formed and how they're transported in the near surface so that we can, you know, we can understand what we're seeing. Um, one of the great things about this site is that it affords us the opportunity to add to that variability an engineered factor that is sure to be, uh, you know, present at any place that we are monitoring at an industrial site. So, for example, we have this modern pad that's about a couple years old. We have a plugged and abandoned well from the 1950s oil production. We have large trees whose roots are putting off CO2. Um, and then uh, when we're done talking, you all can wander over there and see the open pit, which is also from 1950s oil production. And the uh, interest that we had in the pit is that it could have hydrocarbons, which could be degraded into CO2, and that was that's something that we also want to understand how can we separate that from maybe an anthropogenic source that might leak uh, from a storage site.